Hey guys, welcome back to Askcam Doc. My name's Shane and I'm a final year medical student and neuroscience supervisor at the University of Cambridge. And today, we're gonna to be talking about medicine at Cambridge. So I'm going to split this video up into four parts. Firstly, I'll give a general overview of the medical course at Cambridge. Then I'll go on and talk about the content, the quality, and finally, if medicine at Cambridge is right for you. The medical course at Cambridge is split into two components, three years preclinical, then three years clinical. There's a lot of good guidance in the first three preclinical years and then after that in your clinical years there's a lot less guidance and a lot more onus has to be taken up by ourselves in order to be a lot more independent and drive our own learning. So the preclinical course at Cambridge, in the first year you learn things like anatomy, biochemistry and physiology. In the second year you learn things like neurobiology, pathology, human reproduction and pharmacology. In your third year you intercalate. What that means is you take a year out to pursue whatever scientific topic or non-scientific topic that you're interested in and you essentially get a degree out of it. Following your third year you actually graduate from the university and in your fourth, fifth and sixth years you move over to the School of Clinical Medicine which is also part of the university and you carry out your clinical training. In your fourth year it's generally just an introduction into medicine and surgery, literally just getting a feel for how to be in the hospital, how the basic examinations run through and you're just accumulating the basic clinical concepts. In your fifth year you build on that and you progress further but you also learn more specialised subjects like obstetrics and gynaecology paediatrics and psychology. In your sixth year it's essentially designed to consolidate all of that and you do revisit a lot of the concepts that you studied back in fourth year like medicine, surgery and GP. You essentially just build on those things, consolidate it and you do your final exam. Next, I want to talk about the quality of the course. Right off the bat, I want to say the first three years, the preclinical years, are fantastically delivered. They have very good resources, all written by the lecturers, which means that you don't need to trail through textbooks in order to find material and learn things because it's already been presented very nicely in this lecture handout. And essentially, you just need to learn that in order to pass and do well in exams. Alongside the lectures, there are the supervisions or small group teaching that run alongside, which are given by the college which is essentially what I do. I supervise neuroscience for a few colleges. That essentially complements your learning. This is something that's very unique and has always been part of the Oxbridge culture. So yeah, first three preclinical years delivered very, very well. Resources, materials, everything fantastic. In your clinical year, so after you've graduated your third year and moved to fourth, fifth and sixth year, the level of guidance that you get drastically decreases in comparison to the first three years. So in your first three years, it's almost like an extension of A-level in the sense that you have your material given to you, you're told you need to be here, you're told that this lecture is going to happen here, you're told that you need to learn this in order to do this exam, etc. In your fourth, fifth and sixth years, that level of guidance completely disappears. You really need to adopt a sense of independent learning and you have to drive your own learning by deciding what hospital placements you want to go to, when you want to go, what you want to learn on that day and coming back and reading up on it. There's no one going to stand over your shoulder and tell you, okay, you need to go in at this time to do this, that, etc. Whilst they do give you some timetables for some placements, they're generally just a guide. There aren't these like sign-offs that are there in many other universities. Now that can be a benefit as well as a disadvantage. The benefit of that is you're not feeling pressured into going into a placement or a MDT meeting or any teaching experience that you don't actually think is going to be useful because speaking to several of my other friends at other universities I always get the sense of they feel pressured into going in just to get the sign off whereas at Cambridge that really isn't a thing there are a few sign offs that you need to get but they are very very rare so really it allows you to drive your own learning and develop that sense of independence but on the downside it really does mean it's very easy to just sack things off and it's very easy to feel very lost on unguided and just not sure what to do, how to progress, what to prioritise and that's a very big jump from preclinical where all of those things were given to you. Personally I found that quite tricky and it took me a while to kind of get used to it and learn it. So again, it depends what type of learner you are. If you think you are very much an independent learner, then the clinical years are gonna benefit you quite a lot. But if you think you value guidance, then maybe the clinicals at Cambridge may not be the best solution for that. 
The first three years, the preclinical part is very scientific. If you're someone who wants to just get straight into medicine and go see patients, examine them, you know, just develop the doctor skills straight away, then maybe the Cambridge course isn't for you. There are much better courses out there that are much more integrated and give you that clinical experience right from day one. Cambridge really just wants you to understand the scientific topics and basis in the first three years. You get very little patient contact. It's almost like you're just doing another science degree at Cambridge. So that's something to bear in mind when you're applying to Cambridge because that can be a deal breaker for some people. However, that being said, I believe the first three years is actually really good in terms of preparing you for later on in your career because it helps you develop certain skills like how to scrutinize a scientific research paper, how to critically analyze it, which will really come in handy further on in your career where you're going to need to do that in order to progress further. So really having that exposure and learning those skills early really does benefit you. If you you're someone who thinks you're going to go into academia or driving research and progressing the field then applying to somewhere like Cambridge or Oxford is really going to help you out. Right so there you have it. Medicine at Cambridge is split up into two parts. The first three years preclinical, the next three years clinical. The first three years they're delivered absolutely fantastically however it is very scientific and there's a lot less patient contact than most other universities. In the clinical years there's a lot less guidance and a lot more freedom which means that you can get involved in things that you want to do and also learn to develop independent learning skills. So I hope you guys found this video very useful and if you have please like, follow, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.